Hi, my name is Haley and I am the author of HaleyWithAFlare.com. If you've been with me a while, welcome back. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified when I come out with new travel and lifestyle content. And since we're all kind of self-isolating now in this beautiful month of May, um, you know, check through some of the old videos. There's cruise tours and other destinations to inspire you. Today we're going to be going over six different restaurants I ate in Paris when I was there with my husband for just over a week. There's a wide variety. Some of it is very simple food. Some of it is your classic French dishes. I'm so excited to share this with you guys today. So let's get started. <music> Frenchie is known for rotisserie style meats and you guys just need to appreciate this. We know Jeff's already appreciating that. How are the potatoes of the gravy? <laughs> Alright, first piece up. We're waiting patiently. <laughs> is that good? Anything sexier, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the giant profiterole with homemade ganache. <laughs> oh. So I told Jeff to hold on because he always gets to go first. Even though it's only been a day. But. So good. So good. Is it better than mine? <laughs> uh, fair enough. <laughs> and tonight's dinner we are doing bow fingers. Mmm, cheese! So it's two floors. Well. Jeff. How is that? Very tender. Very flavorful. But you eat it again. 
Alright, here we go. Mm. It's so tender. Recommend it. All right, so this is an impromptu snap, or not snap, a video. Long day, guys. Long day. Story for another day. Um, we happen upon this restaurant called La Carrou, it's a bistro, not far from our hotel. It had a 4.5 stars on Google, so figured why not. So we ordered the burrata to start, and of course bread, it would not be a meal without bread. You guys, this burrata and this bread. So being out of my comfort zone with this beef tartare, which is a really, it's supposed to be a really high quality of beef that they do raw with the egg yolk on top. And Jeff got the steak and frites. Pretty much. All right, moment of truth. I see. Is it good? <laughs> Guys, I am so excited about this place for dinner. This is like the main place I've wanted to go. It is called Pan V Fromage, which is literally bread, wine, cheese, which is all I need in this life. I'm so excited. This is a raclette restaurant, so you're gonna see some fondue, cheese melting amazingness. All right, here we are, our raclette. So what you do is you take that cheese, cheese you melt it on one of these suckers, Pop it out onto your ham and potatoes and bread that's coming out. How do you feel about that? What is your current method? I don't know. Grilling grill, your meat. Grill the potato, grill the meat, grill the bread. Okay. And then we're going to pour cheese over everything. Mm. Alright, there's my creation. There's your creation. This is so good. I'm so happy. And just when you think you could be sick of cheese, they have this mix board. This is most potent to sweet. So after watching, right, next up we have the Ubel Fudu Babies. Alright, I'll go first this time. I think this is the cheese I've been eating at the hotel. It's strong, but it's definitely milder. Like there's not a sharpness to it. Get down with it. Bottoms up, Jeffrey. Doesn't that taste like the one that's been at the hotel? Yeah, why'd you give that to me? I know. <laughs> and up next, it's for that cheese. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Mm -hmm. It's like a really soft blue. Mm -hmm. Not you? Not for you? Nah. Ladies. Like a soft blue cheese. <laughs> It's good, it's an interesting texture because I'm used to oh, crumbles. Oh, aftertaste. Yeah, the aftertaste makes it a little bit more better, but. Every time you said that. <laughs> We're waiting on you, Jeff. Oh, 
Put it in the hole. This is the longest taste. Mm. I told you you'd like that. Oh. Please give me the rest of that cheese. Mm. All right, as Jeffrey inhales, I'll take that coke. The other cheese. Don't throw it out. <laughs> Why, Jeff? <laughs> Last but not least, I think this is gonna be similar to a port salute that Jeff and I like getting from the European cheese shop back home. Very excited. Not port salute, but it's in the family. It's stronger. It's stronger. Hmm. Well done, Jeffrey. Hi. Jeffrey, are you excited? Mm -hmm. All right, here's the menu. Mm. You look excited, Jeffrey. Yeah, I'm going to not drink as much as I did last night. You guys, look at this cheese layer. Oh my god. So, I can't sit here and show you guys me eating this soup because it's really hot and I don't need to like scream in this restaurant if I spill it on myself trying to video. It is very, very good. It's not overpowering. Like some French onions I think are really, really overpowering. This is amazing. The cheese layer is perfect. I swear there's like this much layer of cheese on the top and it does have the crumbled up bread in it. So I'm excited. This is, I'm surprised this is my first French onion soup of the trip. Jeff, I'm so jacked for this. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. That looks so good. My turn. Mm. He's right, that's sauce. It's next level. Have a biff bowl when you Now, I'm a nice person and I'm letting Jeff try it first. You don't have the chew. Does it just like slide down your throat, Jeffrey? All the pieces and your mouth can. It's so flavorful that beef gravy. Broth? Broth. It's wine. Oh. <laughs> it's amazing. I can hear them torching my creme brulee. I wonder if you can see it over there. But... I think it's right. Hello, friend. Oh my god. It's making out with me. Hey, I need to hurry up. Go, Jeff, go. First thing, spoon the chocolate. You spooge the chocolate. Spooge the chocolate. <laughs> spooge it. All right, we're waiting for you to finish spooging. It's ice cream. I will say the ice cream we had the other night though was money. You could tell that was homemade ice cream. How is it? How's it compared to the Profiterol from Sacre Frenchie? Not as good. No, that one was better, but this is really good. I mean, honestly, it's kind of hard to like fuck up of a profiterol. It's ice cream, chocolate sauce, and a pedishy pastry. So, but I think what you need to try the most right now, though, is this creme brulee. Though, this is the real stuff. This isn't like at the hotel. <laughs> it was making out with my mouth. Here. 
Hey, that was supposed to be mine. I cannot wait to cut that ball open. I like cutting balls open. Don't cut my ball. I'm waiting for you. Go for it, You can cut my ball. I guess it's okay. What are you doing? You are a terrible ball cutter. There you go, Jeffrey. String it through. <laughs> Jeffrey, are you ready? Yeah. Now, how is this pizza according to Jeff? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. I said surprisingly amazing. <laughs> Some of these videos just I can almost just taste it again <laughs> some of this food was just so great um, a lot of the restaurants we ate at were in the Murray Republic area since that's where we were staying and if you were interested in learning more about how we would rank these restaurants and some more behind the scenes tips and tricks to some of this video I encourage you to check out my patreon account I post some kind of behind the scenes extra tips videos and there is going to be one on these Paris restaurants, what we ordered, what were the best, what we recommend. So, so check out the link down below to Patreon to see if you're interested in seeing some of those videos. I would greatly appreciate it. Until then, thank you so much for joining me. There is still going to be the best macaron in Paris video coming out and I already published the best bakery and that includes sandwiches and pastries kind of video. Until next time, see you later and thanks so much. Bye!